Hey Pilates people, welcome to my channel, Connect and Move. My name is Jessica. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Um, I have kind of an awkward window today between clients, so I came home getting a little something to eat, but I really feel like I need to move. I'm feeling really stiff. So that's what today's session is about. I feel like if I lay down or sit down right now, I will have a very hard time getting up. So it's going to be all standing today. So instead of standing like on my mat at my tower, um, I'm going to be standing behind it. And it's mainly because I'm, I'm putting my leg springs up high today. Okay. So you can still do this, um, you know, standing on your Cadillac, standing on your tower, as opposed to standing on the floor, right? This spring tension just might be a little bit different. So standing tower today, um, quick things today, just getting just a little bit of movement. We will be using pretty much everything. Um, and starting with the push through bar. So if you do not have a push through bar, say like you're at a club Pilates with no push through bar, just fast forward. We're only going to be here for maybe a couple minutes, just, um, warming things up and then we'll put it away and we won't touch it again. All right. So push through bar sprung from above. All right. So starting sprung from above hands are on your push through bar. And I've got all 10 toes facing forward and I'm about hip socket distance apart, okay? So with your hands on, I want you to pull apart on that bar so you feel like your collarbones open just a little bit more. And now press the bar down so your arms go straight and take a big breath in here out through the crown of your head. And then on your exhale, start to nod your chin pull back through the ribs and the abdomen as you push the bar forward let the knees bend where it feels natural maybe you pass through the long line and find a little baby extension big breath in here on your exhale drop your head round through the ribs keep the pull apart on the bar drop the tailbone down roll yourself all the way up good let's do that again press the bar down up and over Peel away from that imaginary wall. Let the shoulders shrug up into the ears if it feels good. And then draw them away from your ears as you come into that extension. Exhale, lift and round through the ribs. Roll, roll, roll. On this next one, we're gonna go out and we're gonna stay out. So push the bar down. Roll yourself through, find that long line. So not quite extension, more of a flat back here. Now, I want you to think of sending your left hip back behind you as your left arm just reaches a little bit further away. I know we're on a bar here, so think like little baby side bend and then come through center. Your right hip is gonna sit back, maybe the leg straightens and then just feel a little bit more length out through the right arm and then back through center. So my left leg is now gonna try to go straight, maybe as my left hip sits back, and then back through center. So now my right hip, right knee, right leg, and my left knee is bending. Ooh, got a little pop. And now square your body off, check your neck, check your shoulders, and now round into your spine, drop the tailbone down, roll yourself all the way up, up, up. Awesome, oh, that felt fabulous. So we are done with it, that's it. I want you to now grab your arm springs and we're gonna set them up one above shoulder height. So when I say one above, just one notch above your shoulder height. All right, arm springs are on little chest expansion here so find a little baby pilates v or parallel whatever suits you best wrap your fists around those handles again find that long line out through the crown of your head and now pull the arms down and back find your chest expansion make the arms longer but also straighter and then slowly release the arms i'm going to step a little bit forward because i really want my arms to come behind my hips again keep that long line pull the arms down and back Think pull straps on your long box and then slowly release the arms. A couple more times here. Pull the arms down and back. Feel your chest roll open. Maybe you find just a little baby extension and then arms come forward. Again, arms pulled down and back. Chest rolls open. Hug the arm bones into your center line 
and then release the arms. Oh, that feels magical. Two more times, we'll add the head turns. Arms pulled down and back, turn the palms maybe a little bit in towards your body, and then instead of head turns, sorry, I lied, tilt your right ear to your right shoulder a little bit, and then come up through center. Left ear, left shoulder, and then back to center, and then slowly release your arms, find your long line. Last one here, arms pulled down and back, little baby back bend if that's for you. Left ear, left shoulder, right arm reaches to the floor a little bit more, up through center, right ear, right shoulder, left arm gets a little bit longer. Ooh, that side is tight. And then back to center, arms reach forward, and then just shrug the shoulders out. All right, so little rotator cuff, fun stuff here. So I'm gonna turn and face you, I'm gonna do a little open the door. Feet, I'm gonna go parallel, a little bit apart here. So spring is in front of me, right? So it's not gonna hit me. My right elbow is gonna stay plugged into my right side, like I'm holding an orange there. Why that cue works, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna stay square, and then I'm gonna open the door, and then close the door. Already too much, I'm gonna come in a little bit more. All right, stay stacked here. I like my hand on my stomach here because it's telling me if I'm twisting. And your right hand is staying in line with your right elbow, right? Meaning you're holding this perfect 90 degree angle. Let's just do three and two. Hold that orange. Last one. Awesome. Now I'm going to step out and I'm going to do the other arm. All right. So now I'm going to close the door here. So left elbow stays hugging in. I'm going to stay square, hug that hand in and then out. So obviously, right, stomach things, right, can get in the way and the elbow might wing out a little bit. That's okay. Right. But I still want you to keep it hugging in as long as it's not going crazy out. Right. Little hug in. And honestly, if you're bringing your hand all the way to your other side, right, step out a little bit, right? No worries. But I want you to really work this kind of chest opening, collarbone pulling apart sensation here for three and two and one. Awesome, let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn around. All right, every side is different. So again, hug the elbow in, you're holding that orange. So now I'm closing the door. So it's the same thing we did on the other side, right? I'll get to the other arm in a second. Forgive me if I messed you up. Stay grounded down through your feet. Let's do three. Strong, stable upper back, two. And one, all right, we step it in or out. Sorry, I messed you up there. Alrighty, hug the orange. We open the door and close the door. Open and close. Make sure those pinky or that left pinky is wrapping around just as much as your index finger here. I don't know why, but this side feels way wonkier than the other side. Like it's just, I don't know, it just feels really awkward here. <sighs> Think of trying to create as much space between ears and shoulders as you can. Let's do three and two and one. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to spin around, face the tower again. Okay. And now, Hopefully I have enough space here, all right? So I'm gonna reach my arms out in front of me. I'm gonna keep my long line here. Elbows stay lifted, and now we're gonna do a bicep curl. Hands come to your shoulders, and then slowly release the arms. So here, how stable can your shoulder girdle be as we bend and straighten the arms, right? And mine are obviously not going straight. I've got this door behind me, so I can't go any further. But think elbows spiraling in, so they're staying relatively narrow. Let's do three. Think ribs in, pelvis slightly forward. Last one. Awesome. All right. Reach the arms forward. I'm going to step forward a little bit more. Back to that parallel hip socket distance apart. Arms stay straight. Big breath in. 
on your exhale, nod your chin, round up and over, and just reach down like you're pushing the pedal down on the chair, hold here. All right, hands are underneath your shoulders, your collarbones are broad, your tailbone is dropping down, the ribs and the abdomen are lifting. And then from here, we stack our spine all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Good, let's do that again. Big breath in, exhale, nod the chin, round up and over. Imagine my forearm being at your abdomen, lift up off my forearm, up off my forearm and then roll yourself all the way up. One more here. We'll actually circle back to this at the end and finish strong with some rolling in and out. Up and over. Drop your tailbone down heavy. Keep your heels down, but maybe you shift your weight a little bit more forward. And then roll yourself all the way up, up, up. Awesome, okay, let those hang. Grab your leg springs and you're gonna hook them at the very top of your tower. So if you're on a springboard wall, go all the way up to number 11, number 12, whatever it is, okay? So I'm all the way up at the top. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna place my right strap in my right foot, okay? So it's gonna go kind of at the base of my arch there. I'm gonna take my hands onto the uprights. I'm about a straight arm's distance away here. All right, I'm gonna stand up tall all right, all 10 toes are pointing forward. Okay, so my tailbone is heavy, my pubic bone is forward. I'm gonna hold the shape of my spine and now lift my right knee up like I'm stepping up onto something and then just press the foot back down. All right. Now the spring is coming from the side of me a little bit. So I've really gotta like find those inner thighs, they gotta fire up because I'm not letting the spring pull me out wide. Now on this press down, I want you to think of that leg going behind you, even if it doesn't, right? So if I'm looking at myself right here on the camera, like my booty is very much at the party, even though I'm barely in spring, I mean, barely in hip extension. Knee bends, press it down and back. This is your going up front. This is footwork. And if you don't need to hold on, right, you don't hold on. A lot more work on the standing leg. Last one here. Good, now bring your legs zipped up together. Okay, so all my weight is in my standing leg, my left leg, all right? I'm gonna open the leg out to the side a little bit and then pull it back in. So I'm keeping my foot in line with my other foot. So again, I'm not letting my leg go forward. It's gonna go out a little bit and in. I don't know about you, but my standing leg is on fire right now. Big time. We've got three and two and one. Bring the leg in, lower it down. Yeah, same foot. We're just gonna spin. I'm gonna turn myself to the right. Make sure the strap isn't gonna, I mean, the spring isn't gonna knock me here. Alrighty. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I'm squared to you. I'm laughing because that spring just jerked me around. I've got one hand here on the tower, I'm gonna push through bar somewhere, my other hand on my hip. I don't know, let's see what happens. Shift your weight into your standing leg, hover your right leg out in front of you a little bit, open the leg out to the side, and back in. So same thing we just did, only the foot is slightly out in front of me and the tension's coming from a different place. So my standing leg is really talking to me. Think of your heels pulling apart the entire time. So there's your side splits. Still standing up tall for four and three and two and one. Good, now lift the leg a little bit out in front of you, obviously still in spring tension, all right? Little circles, little circles for three and two and one, hold, reverse. Think of going to the right in your circle, to the right in your circle. Three, two, one, lower the leg down. Wow, 
a lot on the standing leg, okay? Strap comes off. Oh, we face the tower. Almost forgetting, I'm moving so fast, I'm already forgetting. Left foot on. All right, every side is different. Again, find your lifted posture here. All right, shift the weight into your right leg. Left knee comes up, already wobblier. Wobblier, is that, a, is that a word? I don't know. And every now and then, just take a look at your left knee, left toes, and just see, are they staying parallel? So if you've taken my reformer classes before, I talk a lot about the positioning of the feet, the weight into the feet. So if I was having you, if we were doing foot footwork right now on the reformer, I'd be telling you to drive right through the center of your heel, right? And then the pinky toe kind of pulling back a little bit. I find that that's, we just, we want to roll out. <sighs> mm-hmm. At least for me, this side's way harder pulling that pinky toe up. And think of that left hip drawing down to your right inner thigh the entire time. All right, starting to feel that right leg, that right standing leg. Let's do three. I feel like you're pushing the ground away as that leg goes back. Two. Last one. All right, so leg comes down. Try to keep your heels in line with one another. And now leg goes out to the side and then back in. So think of your, that left heel kind of scraping across the floor as it goes out to the side. Wow, this side's way wobbly, way more wobblier. That's just, that's the word I'm picking with today. And I'm having to think of my left hip going back a little bit and right hip forward maybe. Yeah, because I'm really wanting the twist here. These are your side splits. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders for three and two. Last one, pull it in, lower the leg down. Okay, now we turn to the side, let's do it. All right, <sighs> shake out the shoulders, shake out the neck. All right, leg is slightly in front of your body. It's gonna go out to the side and back in, right? Same thing. Yowza. I really thought I was feeling good on that other side Woo! until we turned to the side. And now my right hip is like, mm -mm, nope. I'm also reminding myself, you've only got like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, that's all you have. Let's make it count. For two, one. All right, bring the foot slightly out in front of you, little circles. Try to control it. Wow, that right hip is really talking to me right now. Circle out, 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 hold, reverse. Again, left hip back, right hip forward. For three, two, and one. Woo! Lower that leg down, okay? Take the strap off. Alrighty, hold on to your tower, hold on to something. Take your right ankle over your left knee. Sit the hips back and down and just kind of rock back and forth a little bit. All right, come up to standing, other side. Woo, stuff and things. Sorry, making all kinds of noises. Alrighty, and then stand back up. Okay, let's get our roll down bar out and we're gonna hook it up to the same place we have our leg springs. All right, your roll down bar is set up. Up at the top, I'm going to step inside my roll down bar. 
My hands are going to be about shoulder width distance apart here. And I'm gonna go Pilates V. If you wanna go parallel, that's what's better for your hips, your knees, do it, all right? So either way, finds that tripod connection down through your feet, all right? And I'm gonna now like hold this long line and I'm gonna tip forward a little bit. In other words, lean forward. And I'm just gonna hold here for a second. I'm just gonna see, okay, is this where I need to be? Where is my back? Is my, are my ribs kind of pulling in so I'm not in my low back? And right now I'm just holding a plank, all right? So you're not gonna let that bar come back towards your face. You gotta kinda keep pushing it away from you. And now all I want you to do is just lift the heels up. Oh, and then lower the heels back down. <laughs> lift the heels up and then lower back down. Good, so think again of that long tailbone, the pubic bone going forward and the base of the ribs kind of softening into your back. Geez, and it took me saying all those things to like, okay, now I feel much more strong, even though my triceps are on fire right now. You have two. Last one. Now, can you hold your heels lifted, even if it's just a baby, baby inch off the floor? Slide the arms up a little bit, and then back down. Slide the arms up a little bit, and back down. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear these springs shaking. <laughs> For two. And last one. Now, find stability. Can you straighten the arms? And then back in. Ooh, I gotta back up. Oh my goodness, my triceps are on fire. Now, you'll probably be looking at me going, she's not straightening her arms. I am not, you are correct. Right, but I'm trying. And I'm also trying to not let my body sway in the wind, which is so hard. <sighs> Heels can always be down. That makes it a little bit easier. For three, spiral those elbows in, stable shoulder girdle, two. <sighs> and last one, holy cannoli. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. All right. So. Springs are up high right now. Just keep that in mind for this next exercise. All right, so a little bit of side bend here. So let's go to parallel hip socket distance apart. My left hand is on the roll down bar. It's either in line with your body or it's in front of your midline, okay? Pick, all right? So I'm wrapping my fists around. Right hand can be on the hip, doesn't matter. I want you to press down into spring tension just to feel the neck elongate and to feel your side body kick on and then float the arm back up. So it's not about cranking the bar down to the floor, it's about connecting to your armpit muscles and finding length in your neck. And then back up, and I'm already getting a little stretch here. And even if you have a soft bend to the elbow, keep it the same, meaning we're not doing like this number, all right? So a little press down, and then up. All right, right arm comes up to the ceiling, I'm gonna press down. I'm gonna side bend up and over. Now your left elbow bends, right? Like it's almost pulling in towards your body. And now stay in spring tension. Stack your spine all the way up. Maybe the arm goes straight. Maybe it goes back to that soft bend. Stay in spring tension, y'all. Up and over, up and over. Open up your chest. And then stack all the way back up option to stay here, or I'm gonna cross my right foot over my left foot, squeeze your inner thighs together, up and over. Push down through your right big ball of your foot, no matter where you're standing, and then come all the way back up. Whew, almost lost myself there. Again, up and over, left shoulder out of your ear. Come all the way up, awesome. Spring tension releases. All right, other side. Every side is different. So find that long line of energy out through the crown of your head. Right pinky wraps around. You're gonna press down a little bit and up. Press down a little bit and up. So kind of like those rotator cuff exercises and also your chest expansion, feel like the collarbones are pulling apart even here. 
A lot of times I see people when they're like, they want to move that bar so much that we roll in and it just kind of defeats the purpose. And for me personally, I'm getting this amazing stretch down my whole right arm, right bicep, even like up into my neck, which is kind of telling me I needed this. All right, so fine spring tension, I'm doing a lot of talking today. Left arm comes up to the ceiling. We side bend up and over. That right elbow bends in narrow. And then all the way back up. Ooh, this side needs it. Up and over. So think of bending at your bra line. Push down into the left big ball of your foot here, even in this parallel position. And then stack all the way back up. Again, ooh, stay in spring tension, almost lost it. Up and over. And then back up. Option to cross your legs. Left foot over your right foot. Find your inner thighs. Up and over. Open up your chest. Think right hip forward, left hip back. And then all the way back up. Two more times here. And back up. Last one. Drop your tailbone down. Think ribs in. And all the way up. Awesome. Oh, my neck feels so much better after that. Okay, roll down bar. Done. It's away. Okay. Arm springs. Let's, ooh, let's keep them at that one above shoulder height. <laughs> one above shoulder height so right where they're at all right so let's let's do a little butterfly windmill a lot of people call it different things okay so i'm going to reach my arms up i'm in a little pilates v i'm kind of leaning forward and i'm thinking of kind of hollowing out through my upper abdomen and the base of my ribs here okay i'm going to windmill that left arm down and behind my left thigh my right arm is gonna reach up and over, so it's a side bend, but it's also a little bit of a twist. And then arms windmill up. My right arm is gonna come up and around. It's gonna hug the back of my right thigh. My right hip is gonna go forward just a smidge to counteract that movement. And then arms windmill up and around. Keep trying to get long here. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together. Look down at that left hand. And then up and around. Right arm reaches down the back of my right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. And then come all the way up. I was gonna end it there, but I want one more. One more each side. So again, drop your tailbone down heavy. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And then all the way up and around. So again, it's a side bend with a twist. So keep reaching up into your left hand. Think of trying to create as much space between arms, hands as possible. And then come all the way back up. Oh, that was lovely. Okay, last one here. Alrighty, so told you we're gonna finish with rolling in and out. We're doing it. So feet, hip socket distance apart. I would highly recommend, don't start Start with less spring tension than more, okay? So arms are reaching forward, all right? I'm gonna dive up and over, right? It's your roll down. Hold here, all right? Round and lift through the ribs even more. And now, without leaning your hips too far back, can you pull the arms down and past your thighs? So reach them past your thighs. Find that opposition between fists and upper abdomen. And now keep the arms straight Stack your spine all the way up, all the way up. Find chest expansion at the top, and then row the elbows wide. You might lose spring tension, that's okay. Reach the arms forward, all right? Now you know where we're going, adjust accordingly. So, up and over. Round, 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 round. Good, let the head drop. Pull the arms down and back. So reach them past your legs. Maybe you could round more. And then drop the tailbone down heavy, stack your spine all the way up, find your chest expansion, roll those shoulders open at the top, and then elbows bend, high wide row, arms reach forward. All right, one more like that, and then we'll reverse, up and over. This one's always so humbling. Arms pulled down and back, 
Stack your spine up tall, hips come forward. Arms are razor straight, find that chest expansion first. Elbows row high and wide, and then reach the arms forward. We reverse, elbows row wide. Shave the arms down the side body. Stand tall, nod the chin, round up and over. Pull up through the stomach, up through the stomach, reach back through your fists. Arms reach forward, just underneath your shoulders. Drop the tailbone down, roll yourself all the way up. Ooh, I'm getting closer to the floor, awesome. Last one here, elbows row wide. Shave your side body, punch the fist down, nod your chin, pull up through the stomach, up through the stomach, dive up and over. Arms reach forward, shift the weight forward, drop the tailbone down, come all the way up, 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 and you are done. Oh, that was nice, I needed that. Nothing too much, nothing too little. I hope you appreciated that. Um, and I hope to see you again. Thanks, y'all. Boo boo. You just got to go, my boy. Mm. Love you.